and welcome back to another video and today it is the Kent Derby, the last home game of the season. Uh, it is Ebbsfleet versus Dover in the National League. Make sure you leave a like on this video for this crucial playoff game if we are going to get in there. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, let's get straight into it. So Ebbsfleet versus Dover, it's a huge game. Basically, we have to win. Um, it, you know, maybe Eastley lose, maybe Harrogate win, but I don't care. We have to win today because um, we have to chase down. I think Eastley will beat Mainhead. Uh, I don't know about Harrogate, but they're four points away anyway. So if we lose, and uh, we can't catch them anyway. So we have to win our last two games, in my mind, if we're going to get playoffs. Um, against uh, haven't the first half was shocking. We then got back in the game. We had 20 minutes. We could have maybe scored three or four or five in that in that 20 minute spell. Uh, we didn't get that fourth goal and it was a little bit disappointing. But the way we fought back, I think after a little bit tired, but we've got Jack King and I think Gozi Ugo were both going to start today who rested on Friday, who are going to be a handful. But Dover in good form. They've got like, um, they've won like three of their last five or two, on two draws as well. So they're doing really, really solid. They're safe from relegation. Uh, I think they'd like to end our playoff hopes anyway. Um, but hopefully Maidenhead can beat Aisley and hopefully Gateshead can beat Harrogate as well. Um, I am going to go for a 2-1 victory today. I think Dave Winfield is going to score a winner for us. Uh, and I think Michael Chick will score the first one. Um, and then for Dover, I think Stewie Lewis. <sighs> Imagine if he scores. But I think that's going to be the score. 2-1. I think a late winner from Dave Winfield off the bench with a huge header for us. Um, and then who knows what will happen in the other games as well. So, yeah, off we go to Stonebridge Road. And, yeah, up the fleet. Come on, you Reds.
Mimi Mai Grey. Why I? Makes it look so weird. We had a nice little spell at the first 15 minutes, but we got into good positions, didn't really create anything though. But ever since then, they've, they've been on top, um, really should have scored, they've had lots of chances. Uh, but at least, not, at least we haven't conceded, that's the only real positive I can say. Uh, but we got up for the second half because ECM and, um, yeah, we've got, we've got, it's just so slow, but yeah, so much good luck. Uh, I think we've just been really, really flat. Um, Half the time, I don't know whether we're just like panicking or we just don't want it because we just don't look like there's any energy to really go out there and win the game. I think we really need if we can have it on 15 minutes like we do against Haven in the like first 15 minutes of the second yeah. half and we get a few goals. Need that, need that boost, yeah. But otherwise, we ain't getting anything and Gordon's going to be useless. Yeah.
something. Whoa! 
where are we going? We follow, follow, follow. The MC, the MC. Sleep nil, uh, Dover won. That means the season's over. I can't catch Eastley anyway, so even if you do finish sixth or seventh, I, I can't see you getting married. But fair play to Eastley. Uh, obviously, they've they lost Hess, and I thought maybe that'd be it for them. But they've got in there, they've done really, really well, so fair play to them. And Harrogate as well, the new promoted team in the playoffs, uh, and well done to all the other teams in the playoffs as well. Um, we'll have another season. Maybe we look forward to a trip to Notts County. Um, <laughs> maybe look forward to a trip to Notts County if they, if they go down. Um, but yeah, back onto the game, we were awful. Dover deserved to win. Um, they had so many chances. We had a little, as I said, at the half-time reaction, they had a little spell. I don't know if we created anything. And, and then they, they got something. <laughs> they, they, had to, they got their goal. And then we had a good chance straight afterwards. Um, but we didn't take it. And, you know, I think we could have been there all day and we couldn't score. But ever since the Wrexham game, we played poorly. Uh, we were poor against... I don't think we were great against Dagenham. The uh, Gates will count. I don't think we were great about against, we were awful against Dagenham. We weren't. We didn't turn up for the first half against Haven, and we didn't play well today. And Dover deserved the victory, so well done to them. But I'm going to title this about Scott. Scott was brilliant. He's been my drumming for 15 years, um, and it's not. It's going to be different. I've ever since I've been going fleet for short than that time. He's been drumming, and it's in. It's a sad day um, for Scott. Obviously, he's been drumming for so long, but it, it was. It was matched with a great atmosphere and everyone standing up at the end. And you know, yeah, we've got a good support here. We're not, we're not a big club. We're hardly some of the teams in this league. We've got uh, two thousand or so that get every game. We get one thousand odd. Um, but we're good supporters, and we we get good away. We get good away followings, and we'll go again next season. I think we will need to lower expectations because it's going to be a long summer. and We're going to be losing players and stuff. But at the end of the day, you know. Um, it's disappointing, but you know, 
we go to Bromley and we respect all those players and because I know a lot of them are going to go so I'm going to go there and give them a good send off give them a good atmosphere and hopefully get a win you know to, to end the season with a positive and for those players a positive because um, you know a lot of them are leaving Nathan Ashmore player of the year well done to him as well um, he'll probably be leaving there. it's more who's staying who's, than who's not going because uh, there is not going to be many it'll, it'll be interesting to see who does stay uh, but there is going to be significant departures um, but at the end of the day um, disappointing to lose today um, but where we've got to the end of the season with everything going on to be to end to have our season ended and not get into the playoffs in the penultimate game is a great achievement um, and yeah I said fair play to Dover they dominated they, they played really well um, and they look like a really solid sign on Hessen Tyler who's going to make some good additions and I'm sure he'll get them back up there and um, but to be honest, their fans weren't great. They made no noise. I think I, I, that's the one thing I was impressed about today. I don't care about the game. The game was awful, but everyone got behind Scott and did it for his last game. And yeah, it was a good game. So it was a good game. It was good atmosphere throughout the game. And we didn't stop singing. <laughs> we didn't stop singing, and we're going to next season. I'll still be here. I should still be vlogging. Maybe not as many games or away games because uh, I've got A levels and stuff. So. It might be tougher to do the long away games, you know. But I'll try my best to go as many games as I go to, and you know, it's be interesting to see, you know, what happens next year. But you know, on to Bromley last Saturday, um, on the last game of the season. There's going to be, hopefully, we'll do some videos over the summer and um, transfers and stuff like that. So you know, we'll, we'll see what happens for that. Um, yeah. Um, well, as I said, well done to Eastley and Harrogate. Um, probably over the season, probably deserve to be in the playoffs over us, so well done to them. Um, good luck to them in the playoffs as well. Good luck to all the teams in the playoffs. Um, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. And, uh, it's the end of another season. Two seasons now, fully vlogging. So that's the end of another season vlogging. Um, but the last vlog of the season will be against Bromley. Yeah, up the fleet, we go again. Part three, come to. Uh, up the fleet, leave a like, subscribe. See ya. If you love that swing, stand up! 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 If you love that swing, stand up!